Welcome. This screencast is meant to help you in navigating your online courses here in the Links Learning Portal. By the end of this session, you will be able to navigate to the courses you are enrolled in, navigate within your course, review and edit your user profile, and recognize and access different Moodle components such as forums, assignments, and quizzes. You can access your course in many ways. In fact, your first visit here may have come from your facilitator as a link in a welcome message. However, to return to the course, you can use Moodle's My Home page, My Courses block, or the course categories to access your class. On the left side of the page, find the navigation block. If the navigation block is collapsed, like the view here, click on the small plus sign in the upper right corner. This expands and collapses the block. The My Home link in the navigation block will guide you to a page where you can see a list of the courses you are enrolled in. To access any of your courses, select the title of the course. You will then be directed to your course home page. You can also find a list of your courses under the My Courses link in the navigation block. Select the My Courses link to see a list of course categories. Once you select the category list, you will be able to select your course name from here. And finally, in the center section of the Links Learning Portal homepage, you will see a list of different course categories and course titles underneath them. Simply scroll through the list to find your course and select the title to enter. Your participation in these courses makes you a part of the Links Learning community. You will be working with educators from all over the country. It is important to provide information about yourself, your interests, and your professional work to facilitate a richer networking and sharing experience in the course. In the navigation block, you will see a list under My Profile. Here you can view your profile information and messages associated with your account. However, you cannot edit your information here. To edit your profile, find the Settings block and select My Profile Settings. The list that appears under the My Profile Settings allows you to edit your profile and control other settings within Moodle. Simply select Edit Profile from the list to make your changes. In the General section of your Profile Settings, you can make changes regarding how you want your email displayed, how you want to receive email from the course forums, and whether or not you want to see notification of forum postings you have not seen. Look the options over carefully. You can always change these settings anytime you wish. In the Description field, you can supply information about yourself including where you work, what you teach, and any other information you want to share. This information will be visible to your class colleagues if they select your name to view your profile. To complete your profile, you can provide an image that represents you. Some people upload actual photos of themselves, others upload favorite photos of scenery, places, or even pets. To add an image, simply drag and drop your image file into the box indicated. Be sure to put a description of the image in the Picture Description field, too. You can add or change your photo anytime. The Interests field is a way of providing short, single words that describe your areas of interest. Separate each by commas and these tags will show up in your profile when others view it. Moodle is made up of many resources and activities that an instructor can create for learners. Each one has a different icon representing the type of activity or resource provided. Many of the most common are presentations, forums, assignments, and quizzes. There are also many resources like a Moodle page, a book, or links to web pages. Once inside your course, you will typically see three sections information and navigation blocks on the left and right side of the page, and a series of topics, modules, or weeks appearing down the center. At the top left corner, you will see what is called the breadcrumb trail. This is a navigational aid that will tell you what course or resource you are currently viewing. As mentioned earlier, each resource or activity have their own unique icon. To open any of the resources or activities requires a simple click. Once the page is open, you will be presented with instructions to complete the activity 
or with material resources to review. Forums or discussion groups are a critical component of many online courses. If your course has a forum, here are a few considerations. First, these discussions are usually very active. To be sure you do not miss any of the postings from your cohort, be sure to turn on forum tracking when editing your profile. You'll see flags indicating posts you have not yet read. When you are ready to post, select the Add a New Discussion Topic button under the Forum Topic. Be sure to add a subject and then type your message. At the bottom of the page, be sure to click on the Post to Forum button. So that's it. Thanks for watching the short screencast on getting around in your Moodle course. We reviewed navigating to your course, reviewing and revising your profile, and recognizing different Moodle activities and resources like forums, assignments, and quizzes. If you find you need more help, please look for support on Moodle.org. Also, there are many helpful tutorials on YouTube. Good luck, and welcome to the Lynx Learning Portal.